what do we have here? So this is the iFi card. It is a wireless memory card for your digital camera. So what that means is it works just like a regular SD card when you're out and about. It saves your photos, etc. But then when you get home, it will automatically upload your photos to your computer, either a PC or Mac, and to your favorite photo sharing website. Flickr, Facebook, uh, Photobucket, any of these. You've just preset that in advance, what you want it to do. Right. When you first get the iFi card, you set it up very simply. It asks you what wireless network, where on your computer you'd like us to save your photos, and then the rest is automatic. What kind of challenge was it to put Wi-Fi on that little card? So there were several challenges. Uh, certainly part of them were technical. Just getting Wi-Fi into a something this small and have it work effectively was not easy. Um, this card has to work into in a very wide variety of cameras, each of them with their own way of managing power, etc. But it's important that the camera just see this as a normal SD card. So getting it all to work within the confines of what a normal SD card uh, was also hard. And then the other important part of this is it's got to be able to talk to all of these photo communities, the places you want to send your photos. So we have developed relationships, partnerships with more than 20 of these photo communities, uh, and that is what really makes this valuable to the user. To the chip itself, uh, uh, Wi-Fi is a real power hog, right? It can be. When you're out and about, actually, as I said before, it works kind of like a regular SD card. So when you're outside of your home network, then the, the power implications are really nominal, very, very uh, small, really not perceptible by the user. Uh, when you're at home, how much power impact there is depends on how many pictures you've taken, how many you're trying to upload, uh, and, and actually what your broadband connection is. If you've got a very fast broadband connection, it uploads very quickly. If you don't, it'll take a little longer. Obviously, this has no user interface. It has no browser. So this is good for the network that you already know, the network with, with the security that you're already familiar with. Your home network is your best bet.